Welcome back guys, we are here for our February 2023 channel life update and let's get straight into it. So first things first, I say let's start out with the personal life side of things. So February has been kind of a wild month, a lot of things have changed and let's take a second to talk about that. So as a lot of you know from my Life in the Life series, my last channel update, I let you guys know that I did start a substitute teaching job over at the local high school near me and that's been a great experience, just you know, um, getting back into the school where I had so many great years, so many years where I was like, oh, I don't want to be here, but it was great. I look back on it with such fond memories and it's been great just seeing the impact I'm able to create in that situation. Um, I didn't really think I would enjoy it as much as I truly do. So it's really cool and I get to connect with a lot of the kids there. Um, just, it is a little weird because obviously I'm only 20 and sometimes I have seniors there, they're all 18, but it's just a really cool experience to be able to connect with them talk to them about things that they hope that they appreciate about me being younger um, appreciate news for the perspective um, and it's just really cool to be able to create that and understand if I was to choose that as a potential career path as a teacher what kind of impacts I could have and what things that the students are looking for that I'd be able to provide but I decided to add on to my workload because my previous job before that the location was doing a remodel and we are finally back because I work at a Chick-fil-A nearby and I'm a manager there. And so the store is finally reopened and we had our opening week and I believe we're two weeks down at this point. And that's changed a lot of things in my life. So obviously two jobs, a grand opening. That means a lot of work got put in over these past few weeks. And it was really nice to have it back because I really enjoy being there. I enjoy the impact I'm able to create. I enjoy the leadership aspect of the position I'm in now. And honestly, I just appreciate it in some kind of way, whether it's bringing people food, entertaining, serving, I just appreciate being able to create moments for people, putting smiles on people's faces. One of the coolest things I will say is, it happened this past week, I had a situation where there was this fam, there was like this big family, two adult females, and they had maybe six kids around the table, all young. And I just got to take like five minutes talk to the kids, help them out, um, substitute some things for them, and just talk to them. And it was just so nice seeing the smiles on their faces, the impact. And it was also super cool because after that conversation, they came back up five minutes later and said, thank you, Mr. Dylan. And it was so cute and so adorable, but it meant so much to me that I was able to make that impact like that. Obviously starting up with two jobs, it did upset some things. I won't say there was all positives, obviously. Like obviously the big positive, more money in a bank account we love that but it did take some drawbacks obviously with more hours a new store all these different things i had to take some cutbacks on some things i couldn't take as many sub jobs as i liked because that's just the way it was it was i had to put more hours towards the store a ton of new hires a ton of unexperienced people and just a new environment learning a new store how we're going to run things so i put a lot of hours there so i sacrificed um a lot of time at the school which i enjoy being there as well but I think it was uh, needed and I think I, I wouldn't change it. But another thing I had to give up was all the progress that I had started making on my fitness regimen. And I say that like I'm some kind of professional, I'm really not. Um, I just started, if you guys have been keeping up with my life and the lifes, I've been starting to do like a physical activity of some kind every single day. Not that I was ever unfit per se, but just to get me in better shape. And I felt so great physically. But with the changing schedule, the extreme hours, a lot of days I'm waking up at 5 a.m. getting home at 3 a.m. and get, waking up at 5 a.m. the next day for another day at work. It's been a lot, but I think it was definitely worth it. I don't regret it by any means. Um, and I can share this with you as we're gonna lead into our channel discussion anyways, but there's just something I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring up to you guys because it was kind of a secret project but I might as well talk about it. So I've had this project in mind that I started working on and it was basically, I was going to put out a video about me doing my physical activity regimen, whatever you want to call it for a hundred days straight and showing you guys the transformation all in one video. And I was really excited about it. And when I missed some days, whether it was because I got sick or because work caught up with the new opening and different things. I was really upset about it because it was something that I was so passionate about. I loved the idea. I loved the progress I was making and I was upset and I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know if I should scrap it. I didn't know if I should just lie and say, you know what, I I got it done, 100 days straight, no problem. 
But the more I think about it, with how much I preach about being honest about yourself and how life is and naturally progressing and learning new things, I think I'm gonna stick with it. And I think I'll just be honest with you guys. Like, obviously it's not gonna be 100 days straight. Some of the footage is gonna say 100 days straight, but I obviously will clarify. Like, that's how life is. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice things in the short term, but as long as you're dedicated and willing and you come back to it, that's okay because there's only so much you can do in a day. And one of the hardest things for me that I have to accept is I can't do everything in one day. I can't work till my body gives out every single time. Like, and that's obviously an over exaggeration, but I never give myself genuine breaks. And I need to, I need to be okay with understanding where my limits are in certain things. And so it might be one of the best things that I put this goal forward. I didn't hit it exactly, but I know I'm going to return to it. I'm going to be starting my workout regimen back up probably, I want to say sometime within the next week. Um, and we'll be back to it every single day. And that's okay. So obviously gave you a little preview on the content side of things, but let's get fully dived into it. Let's talk about what's going on with the state of this channel. So a lot of changes have happened. A lot of things we previously talked about last month we have not seen a lot of my other series, my Madden 23 face of the franchise, my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. And to be honest with you, the Pokemon, probably not coming back. I love Pokemon, it's great, but there's a time and place for that. I have other projects that are gonna be taking up more time. There's only so much time I do have to put stuff out on the channel. I'm still 50-50 on the Madden 23 face of the franchise. We will see how that goes. But the big thing I wanna talk about is Hogwarts Legacy finally dropped. And all the hype about this game was well warranted. I'm so excited about this game. It's so amazing. Just every single time I sit down to play it, I sit there and I see that we're at the end of an episode and I'm like, there's no way I have to stop. Like, it's so cool and so amazing. I can't like take myself to like give myself an extended break. Like, it's so cool. And I'm, anytime I see anything about Hogwarts Legacy, I'm like, don't look at it, don't look at it. I don't want to be spoiled. And I love it, and I love putting together the episodes. Even if they don't get a ton of support, I still love playing that game. You guys are going to see more and more episodes coming out with it. Um, so if you guys are interested, definitely go check it out. I already have a ton of videos live. Um, I think I'm at eight now, um, but go check them out. There's a whole playlist on the channel. And then the other thing I said I was going to be working on, the Life in the Life series. I got a little bit backed up with just the way life was. And I just told you guys last time out, I was going to catch up. And that one night that Hogwarts Legacy was coming out, I knew I had to be up till midnight for it to drop. And I did. I got caught up. I made all the life and the lives, uploaded them all up. I was back to it. And then I fell behind again because of everything that happened. But we are going to catch up. I'm going to be working on it. I promise it'll fall right in line with getting back in the gym. Just getting myself set on a better schedule with the normalization of everything. I'm not going to give you guys a solidified date when we'll be caught back up. But I will say, I'm pretty sure that once I do, we'll, be, we'll hit a hundred days straight of life in the life of just tracking my progress every single day. And that'll be a really awesome, special thing to put out. It'll be an awesome moment because there's a lot of work that goes into it. And it'll just be awesome to recognize that how much I've actually done in that hundred days, how much has changed, how life just keeps going and how much I've truly achieved. And that's gonna be an awesome feeling for me. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So, like I said, the plan with the channel, just going a lot harder, keeping up the progress on a lot of things we have going on. Face of the franchise might return, not sold on it yet. Um, but before we go, um, but I do wanna take a second to first talk about the amazing support I've had. Obviously, if you guys look back, the first episode of my Face of the Franchise had a wild, like 260 views. And that was crazy, but the last Madden 23 owner series game I put out for week one, I think it's sitting at like 130 views right now. And that's honestly so incredible. I can't believe it. Obviously, those aren't crazy numbers by any means. You see people on YouTube getting thousands, millions of views. But to see that means so much. Because obviously, games like Hogwarts Legacy, I'm experiencing it for the first time. And I get to show the story that these people worked on so hard that made this game, right? And that means a lot to me. But on the other hand, I'd love to see the support also from the Madden 23 owner series. Because, yes, a lot of people put work into that game. I mean, they could do better. Talking to you, guys. But 
what the Madden 23 owner series is, it's an opportunity for me to tell a story greater than the game. And there's a lot more work that goes into it, to be honest. But it's so cool to see that support that's and the appreciation recognized for the hard work and see all that support. And it means so much to me. I don't think I'll ever really be able to dictate how much that means to me. But seeing all the views and support and new subscribers, which we'll talk about in a second, it really gives me, it puts me in perspective about how much I'm actually doing. Because it's hard when you're small, you don't have a ton of support. But the little bit that is there, it really puts into perspective for me that yes, my hopes of being able to create things in this world and make an impact on things, it's a real possibility and it will happen. Not sure when exactly in life, but it will happen. Um, and that possibility does exist. So I appreciate it more than you guys can ever imagine. But now is the time. Let's talk about how far we have gotten in the subscriber count. All right, guys. So at the time of recording this, we are at 298 subscribers. That's about 70 subscribers more than what we had last month out when we were talking about this. And it's honestly just so crazy. Like, I know it's not a huge number, but if you think about it, 70 new people saw at least one second of the content I'm putting out and they decided, you know what? I wanna see more of this. So they subscribed, hopefully turn on the notifications if you did, but it's so cool and that means so much to me. And it is a harder thing to put in perspective, like I've said, because I am still such a small channel, but sitting there and realizing like 298, nearly 300 people care about what I'm doing at least a little bit and that's so cool it means all the effort I'm putting through does matter in some way and like I said I will probably say it till the day I die it means more to me than you guys could ever imagine I appreciate it so much and I'm not ready to stop anytime soon so what you guys have to expect for the next month coming up honestly a lot of the same but I can lean you guys in on some personal things not specifically for me but more so my family which might come into video fruition depending on how things go so we're going to take a little detour and we're going to talk about my older brother uh his name's cody he is three years older than me so he's 23 now and before i say anything he is just one of the most hard-working determined people i've ever known and I'm not just saying that because he's my brother. I'm um, not just playing that card, but he truly makes me admire him so much because no matter how dedicated I'll be to something, no matter how influenced I'll be, I know I'll never be able to amount to how good he is at those things. And he cares so much about whatever, the things that he cares about, he cares about them on another level. And it's so incredible. And like when I say I admire him, I truly do. He's a special, special person. But now that you guys have a biography and I've kissed his butt long enough, um, he went away to college after he graduated high school. He went up to the University of Maine and got his degree. Um, and he's been trying to get into vet school for about two years. And that is one of the hardest things you can try to do in this world. And it sucked for a while because I knew he deserved it so much. He worked so hard. And I'm happy to say he finally got in. He got into St. Matthew's University uh, in the Cayman Islands. And it's a really cool opportunity for him. Obviously, a lot of things are going to change for him. His life is going to change quite a bit um, moving out of the country and going to the Cayman Islands, going to school. But it's all going to be worth it. I know there's a lot invested in it, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of time. But it's going to be worth it, especially because he is so caring. I've seen him just caring for animals in the family and he knows what he's talking about even though he's not all the way there yet and he's an awesome he cares so much and he's going to be great and I try to tell him every time I talk to him don't worry about any of the stupid stuff don't worry about money don't worry about missing people that aren't here like that you're not with it's okay like you're gonna spend your time there and it's gonna work out great. But with that, that means he's gonna need some help. And obviously, I don't know the first thing about being a vet, but what I mean by that is since he's going to be moving, there's gonna be a process with that. So probably starting, I think at the end of this month, me and my mom and dad, we're going to take trips up to Maine to help him and his girlfriend 
move some stuff back to Jersey. Um, so we're going to help him move some stuff down. And then obviously when he has to move to the Cayman Islands, we're going to have to help him go there. So we're going to be taking a trip. So we're going to be packing some stuff with us, taking it down to the Cayman Islands with him, helping him move in wherever he's going to be. I don't even know the whole specifics of it yet, but that's going to be really cool. Hopefully I remember and everything works out where I'm able to get you guys some content about that trip because it's going to be cool. Obviously it's for him, but it's going to be incredible to be there. Um, and it might be one of the last locations I have in a while. I know that I said that about my last trip when I went to Disney World. Um, and that was a great trip. Certain things um, happened and it uh, might not be my favorite in the world, but they happen and I hope I get another opportunity at that, but I don't know when that's gonna come. So I really hope that this trip, no, even if it's not gonna be a long one, and it's not particularly for me personally, it's a focus on somebody else, obviously, and he deserves it. I'm very excited about it and I can't wait. So I'm gonna stop talking now because I've been rambling for so long, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn all those notifications down below. And if you enjoyed what you saw here today, connect with me on my other socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, my Snapchat. They're all down in the description. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. Whether you do leave a like, whether you do leave a comment, whether you click on the video for a second and you hate it, at least you clicked on the video. It means so much to me. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, make sure to check out the next update coming at the end of March. And go check out my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough, my Madden 20 Owner series, whatever else comes up on the channel, some of my life and the lives. But again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to check it out. I appreciate you guys more than you can ever imagine. I'll catch you guys next time.